Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes, back here with another Battlefront Guide. Today we are going to be overviewing the A280 CFE Sniper Rifle for the Specialist class. Just as a quick note, we are not overviewing the A280 or the A280C for the Assault class. They might have similar names, but they are all completely different blasters. I will be doing an overview on the A280 very soon. Anyways, back to the A280 CFE. I'll be going over its different weapon attachments and how they affect the blaster, all the statistics we know about it, and tactics and tips to help you become the best with this blaster. In the description, I will have timestamps so you can easily find your way through this video. But I'd suggest staying for the whole video because you might learn something new. The A280 CFE is the third sniper you can unlock for the Specialist class in Battlefront 2. It takes 200 eliminations as a Specialist class to unlock the base weapon. Or, if you bought the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition, it includes this weapon at the start of the game. The A280 CFE is a fast firing sniper rifle that deals low to medium damage. This blaster is meant for medium to longer ranges, but if paired with the right attachments and used by the right player, you can make this a close quarter sniper, or also known as aggressive sniping. I personally like the versatility of this blaster, that you can take it long range if you are accurate enough, or if you're not, you can stick it to CQC, which stands for close quarter combat for those who don't know. Now let's move on to the attachments or modifications for this blaster. The A280 CFE has three blaster modifiers. The first of those three is the dual zoom modification. To unlock the dual zoom mod, you need to get 50 eliminations with the A280 CFE. The dual zoom, as you might have guessed it, it gives you dual zoom. This ability is amazing for medium to longer range sniping situations. The dual zoom makes the enemies way bigger and easier to hit when trying to snipe at ranges. This ability can be turned on or off on command by pressing the right stick click on your controller, and I believe it's the scroll wheel click on PC for mouse and keyboard. Again, this adds versatility to your weapon. You're able to change and adapt to your environment by changing how much magnification. The second attachment for the A280 CFE is the 3 burst mod. You need to eliminate 150 enemies with the A280 CFE to unlock the 3 burst mod. This converts your semi-automatic blaster to a 3 shot burst blaster. It kind of reminds me of the E3 from Battlefront 1. With the 3 burst mod active, you can take your blaster to closer quarters. You can outgun assault classes and officer classes very easily at almost any distance. When sniping at distances, you'll have a bit of trouble with this mod active, as when you have your 3 burst mod on, the recoil becomes ridiculous to handle. One big warning with this is when you pair this up with the dual zoom mod and the extra zoom is activated, the recoil is absolutely crazy. But if you think you can handle it, you should definitely try it out. It may be beneficial to learn how to handle the recoil. When this mod is active, I'd suggest staying closer qu quarter combat. For me, that's where I am most beneficial for my team. And the final attachment is the Ion Shot mod. You need to get 250 eliminations with the A280 CFE to unlock the Ion Shot. This modification interchanges the bolts that you fire to ionized blaster bolts. This means your shots do more damage to vehicles and shields and less to infantry and heroes. It also makes your blaster bolt blue. For most people, this ability is useless, and I agree, most of the time, it just makes it harder to kill enemies. But if you're a clone and an AAT doesn't see you, you could definitely annoy it with the ion shot. As I've said in other videos, the ion shot should be toggleable like in Battlefront 1. It would make it a lot easier to actually use it. I think when you have this active, I think you should just try to annoy any enemy vehicle you find. Now we are going to move on to the strategies for this blaster. I've already gone through a few of them already, and I'll backtrack to them after. First thing, you need to find where you snipe best with this blaster. Some people snipe better on ground, and some people snipe better when they are elevated. The thing with 
this will happen is that and most blasters in this game is that they can adapt to their environment that works best for you. I personally like being elevated as it gives me the advantage to see enemies. You should also find your attachments and learn how to use them properly. What I mean by finding them is you have to keep trying out different combinations until you figure out what works best for you. If you skip the part of this video where I talk about different modifications, I'd suggest you go back to it and watch. For close quarter combat, you need to play cautiously. Also, you should rely on your abilities. Abilities such as the shock grenade and the infiltration ability is essential for your survival in close quarter combat. If you use the infiltration ability, it shows on the scanners where the enemies are. And if you pair it up with the shock grenade, you'll be able to throw your shock and know that it'll hit. Then you can finish them off with the A280 CFE. What are your favorite star cards to pair up with the specialist class? Let me know in the comments section. If this guide helped you, feel free to drop a like as it helps support the channel. And if you have any tips for the A280 CFE, comment them down below and help each other out. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you in the next video.